Um, I'm Nick Helm, and welcome to the Film Quiz Podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's great, that's great. Uh, we're back. Um, uh, in each episode, we ask three contestants if they can tell their Ben Stillers from their Ben Hers, <laughs> their Stanleys from their Stan by Me's, <laughs> and their Spaceballs from their Elon Musk's. <laughs> Wow. Okay. <laughs> In each episode, we invite three guys and dolls to answer a series of film-related questions. At the end of... I said film-related questions like that was a film, but, but it wasn't. It was just a normal sentence. That's, that's how I'm going to read from now on, I think. It's just instilled in me. Instilled in me. <laughs> At the end, one of them will be crowned the godfather of quizzing. But that never happens. Um, while the, it would be really arrogant for any of our winners to crown themselves the godfather. You know, I, I got four points. I am the godfather of film quizzes. <laughs> while the others are facing their apocalypse now. Yay! Yay. No, not the same as a laugh. Um, <laughs> enjoy these bonus film references throughout. They're not all about Marlon Brando. Let's meet today's Could Have Been a Contenders. I mean, honestly, guys, like, try harder. <laughs> First up, he's a comedian who won the New Act of the Year Award and in the same year was nominated for Best Newcomer at the Edinburgh Comedy Awards. He's had acting roles in Catastrophe and Sick of It, and his comedy show, Care, is about when he worked for wealthy people in a care home while on minimum wage. It's Bill Al Zafar from Wanstead! <laughs> Next, a comedian whose latest solo show, Shepherd, received five-star reviews and led to a Soho theatre run. She's appeared as an actor in Stathlet's Flats and Stephen Merchant's comedy drama, The Outlaws. She is also a talented artist and the host of the critically acclaimed podcast, Secret Artist, is Annie McGrath! <laughs> it doesn't say... Where are, you, where are you from, Annie? Where am I from? Yeah. London. From London! <laughs> and finally, he plays Jack in May Martin's romantic comedy on Netflix, Feel Good. He's also appeared on the Russell Howard Hour and Starstruck. His comedy show, Tango, was also the world's first filmed ASMR stand-up special. It's Jack Barry! <laughs> And finally, the man that needs no introduction. It's the scorekeeper of scorekeepers. Hang on, are you going to be shuffling around the whole time I'm doing this? No, no, no. Just, right. sorry. No, it's, I'm doing an intro and you're fucking around with your seats. Okay, wait, I'm, I'm very close to the edge. Yeah, but I... Huh? Uh, what, the Anthony Hopkins film? <laughs> uh, it'll be stuff like that all night. Um, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the scorekeeper of scorekeepers. It's my best friend to be yours, Mr. Huge Davies. Great. Right, why, great why, why did you laugh when you said my best friend? It seems to be because it's one of them bullshit things people say, isn't it? I was just imagining you in your head thinking, I don't even like the guy. <laughs> You think the prestige is nonsense, right? Yeah, I don't really like it. No, okay. Um, uh, you know, um, why don't you like the? Why don't Why don't you like it? I think it's stupid and uh, yeah, very, it is. Uh, Annie. Oh. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, no, why, why, why do you think it's stupid? Uh, I just think it's massively overrated. Yeah. Pretty lame. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Annie, uh, you watched Bend It Like Beckham every weekend for a year when you were 12. Is that true? Yeah, it's a great film. For a whole year? For, so for between the ages of 11 and 13, for you watched Bend It Like Beckham every week. Not like consecutively all the time. Once a week for a year, yeah. Right, and did you own it or did you have to rent it out? I owned it on video. Yeah, well that saves a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you're going to do it like that. Do you like it? Have you seen it? I've, I've not ever seen uh, Bend It Like You'd Beckham. You'd love it. Um, I'm not really into... Um, Women. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, cool. So, Jack, what's your favourite film? Crank. Crank, yeah. 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 What do you think of Crank 2? Pretty good. Quite racist. It's, it, uh, 
I, I, I mean, I really enjoyed Crank. I, I, yeah. I, I watched that in lockdown and I thought Crank was really good. Crank 2 was like... Crank 2 is, they go far with it. And it is, it's got some very quotable lines, but it is very yeah. racist. It, they are pretty racist. <laughs> and also, Annie and Jack, uh, you, you are or you were in a, in a double act called Twins. We were. Well, we, were. Well, we will yeah. be again, and, I reckon. And you will yeah. be again. It's yeah. one of my favourite things I've ever seen. Sorry, Bella. You heard um, It's one of my favourite <laughs> things I've ever seen. Uh, did you name it after the Arnold Schwarzenegger Danny DeVito film Twins? Kind of. Great. Yeah. Okay. It was like the same joke, <laughs> I but people didn't get it. I you said, uh, yes. Oh, right. <laughs> That's our dynamic. Yeah. <laughs> These are our contestants, guys. Put your hands together. <laughs> <laughs> who out of them has got real genius and who's just dumb and dumber? Yeah. Who, write, who wrote um, this? Um, we, never, we don't know who writes this. <laughs> Round one is called True or False? <laughs> okay. To start us off, I will read out a series of film-related facts and all you have to do is tell me if they are true or false. Uh, some of these facts are too good to be true, others too bad to be false. <laughs> um, and it's down to our contestants to tell which is which. There's two points for every correct answer. You got that huge two points this time. Sorry? <laughs> all right, Bill Al, starting with you. Question one. In the film Apollo 11, Tom Hanks plays a real-life astronaut, Jim Lavelle, on a moon mission gone wrong. True or false? False? Why do you think it's false? I don't know. The way well, like 13, I... wasn't it? You're against each other, Jack. Oh. I've got to say this. I've got to say this. You're not meant to be helping each other out. Well, he already got this. it. He didn't get it. Oh. I, we, said, I did. Right, we were having you a said it was just true or false. It's true or false, yeah. I said false. What did you say? It's false. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. No, but, we're, but now we've got to have a discussion about right. why it's false, right, yeah. Jack? We'll get to well, you. We're not allowed to help with that bit. No, like, not yet. Oh. You'll have time to chip in at some point. I'm I sure. thought you said they were fun Stop facts. Talking over I'm each not other. having fun. Stop talking over each other. It's just me talking now. Okay, Bilal. Um, okay, great. So, um, um, uh, so what did you say? The answer I said is... it was false. Why do you think the answer is false? It's because you laughed when you said it. Yeah, because <laughs> it was so obvious, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, uh, but why did I laugh? Wrong, wrong number. It was the wrong number. What, what's the film that Tom Hanks is in? 13? Apollo 13, yeah. The Tom Hanks film in 90, is 1995's Apollo 13. Uh, there is a film called Apollo 11, which is a documentary about the original moon landing and also Apollo 18, a found footage monster movie, but neither of them stars. They're not really fun facts, I've got to say. They're more just facts. No, I've got, I've got some... Um... I think it's too early. We've asked one question and we've been going for 20 minutes, no, but right? The, bit... Annie! The famous opening shot of The Sound of Music... Oh, Sound of Music! Uh, took several takes because Julie Andrews kept being knocked down by the helicopter. Is that true or false? <laughs> I want to say true, but I think I'm going to say false. Why do you think it's true and why have you said false? It's 50 -50. No, I think, it, I think it's false. Right, OK. Why do you think it's false? Did you say she kept getting hit She kept by getting her... knocked down by the helicopter. Um, I just, I think they'd have done a couple of health and safety checks. <laughs> it was made in like 1966. I don't think they were... So is it true? Well, I'm just like saying, just think before you answer. Well... I'm not helping you. I'm just like saying, is it true or false? I think it's a double bluff. I'm going to say false. It's true, it's true. Oh, no, I meant... It's true. It, and you <laughs> never I was double this. bluffing, I'll say true. All right, but guess how many, guess how many takes it took the, her to get it right before she stopped falling over because of the helicopter? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> 26? 10. She got knocked over nine times. It took a total of 10 takes to get the opening shot because the helicopter that was filming Julie Andrews kept blowing her over as it got closer. And here's a fun fact. I've got the same birthday as Julie Andrews. Um... <laughs> Jack, the James Bond film Skyfall at the end is named after the Jamaican estate where Ian Fleming wrote most of the James Bond stories. True or false? False. Did you hear the question? Yeah. Right, yeah. okay, good. Did I hear it? Yeah. I do that false. thing that when I'm talking, I stop, I stop listening when I'm talking. Yeah. And I, I, so I didn't hear the question. Did you get it right? I don't know you think you it's, me. You, you think it's false? Yeah. Why do you think it's false? Don't know. Look, I'm not, I'm not fucking around here. I'm not padding it out. On every card it says, discuss with whoever. Uh, the answer is false. Ian Fleming's estate is called Goldeneye, the name of Pierce Brosnan's debut as Bond. Sky, the Skyfall. Best Bond. Skyfall is a. What, Goldeneye? Yeah. It's a really good Bond, isn't it? It's the best one. Yeah, if you like Bond, then, you know, Goldeneye's a good one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
Okay, cool. Bilal, um, Matt Damon voiced himself in puppet form in Team America World Police. Is that true or false? False. Yeah, it was false. Um, sorry, I just had to check. I thought my flies were undone. Um, uh, the correct answer is false. Matt Damon was voiced by Trey Parker in the film, who chose that voice after seeing how the puppet version of Damon came out in the kiln. Lovely. Um, question five. Annie, in The Matrix, the famous green computer code contains sushi recipes. Is that true or false? False. Why do you think it's false, Anna? I reckon it contains something more scientific than sushi recipes. Oh, do you? What, what, what do you He took the red pill. Do I get a point for that? Uh, no, you don't. You don't. Does anyone in the audience know if it's true or false? No, I'm not asking you to shout out the answer. I'm saying, do you know whether it's true or false or not? That's a yes or no question. <laughs> Uh, it is, in fact, true. Oh, uh, producer, man. designer, Simon Whiteley digitised Japanese letters from his wife's cookbooks and created the... Oh, God, these are great anecdotes. Um, uh, yeah, uh, uh, he created the ultimate movie geek screensaver in the process. There you go. Brilliant. OK, and Jack, finally, on this round. Jack, the Palm Dog is an annual award for the best dog in a film screened at the Cannes Film Festival. Is that true or false? The Palm Dog uh... is an annual award the best dog in a film screened at the Cannes Film Festival. Is that true or false? True. Yeah, it is true. It is true. Why do you think it's true? Uh, people love dogs. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, notable Palm Dog winners in the past include Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, The Artist and Sightseers, all of which feature very good dogs. After round one. <laughs> what were the scores there, Huge? I think, so Bilal has uh, four. Uh, Annie on zero points. Uh, and he's got nothing. Double, don't, don't. Uh, yeah. And then, ja and then Jack's on four. <laughs> round two is called Sounds Like Movies. <laughs> In this round, our contestants will hear three great songs from three great movies, not necessarily, all released in the same year. If you can answer the song, the movie and the year, you can score a maximum of seven points this round. That makes sense, right? Sorry, you're going to play three songs. We're going to play three songs. But there's only one year. Yeah, yeah. You ready? Yeah. You ready, Huge, with your finger on the button? I'm ready this time, yeah. Okay, brilliant. Okay. Um, uh, sorry, I, I should also say, uh, do not listen to this show whilst driving. Okay, okay, <laughs> right. So play the songs, Mr. DJ. <laughs> Can you ask me in a different fa way? In a different fashion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I play those songs, Mr. DJ. That's all I want. To yeah. Play. Put your pens down now. That's when you catch race. That's what we're doing. Uh, put, your pen, put, put, your pen, put your pen. Put your pens down now. We didn't get a lot of time. Put your, time pen, out, put your pens down. Now. Put your pens down now. Uh, but you're you allowed to have your whiteboard flipped over so you, we can all see it because oh, okay. you're literally not allowed to write anymore. Okay, so Bill Al, starting with you, yeah, um, yeah. how do you think you did? I think I got all of them, but I couldn't write all the last one out. So does that mean I don't get it? Um, well, you have penalised people in the past, um, but you can have a point for that, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so, what have you got for uh, track one? Uh, um, the song, um, it was Pierce Brosnan singing. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was from um, Mamma Mia. Yeah. Uh, the song is SOS. Yeah. And the year is 2008. Uh, okay, what have you got for, okay, uh, let's go to Annie. What, you, what did you get for track one? I got the film Mamma Mia, the song SOS. Yeah, cool. Uh, and do you and know then what I year? just put ABBA in brackets. Yeah, 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 and cool. And Jack? So did Bilal. I got nothing for that first one. Brilliant, okay. Uh, <laughs> so, it, it was SOS uh, from Mamma Mia, sung by Pierce Brosnan. Okay, uh, what did you get for track two, uh, Bill Al? Um, it was Jack White and Alicia Keys. Yeah. Uh, Another Way to Die. Yeah, you don't have to say who sung it, just got to stress I that enough. I thought we did. No, 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 it was just the Pierce Brosnan one oh, I was okay. giving you an extra um, point. Yeah, the film's Another Way to Die. Uh, um, 2012? The song is called Another Way to Die. Yeah. Uh, is the film not also? It's the same year. <laughs> I was really clear on the fucking, <laughs> on the rules. Everyone here, there was like an audible gasp when he started saying 2012. 
because he already fucking nailed the first one. Right, yeah, Annie, it's fine. Yeah, go on. Yeah. It's all right, Bill. Oh. You're just doing it wrong. Right. I, I was really buzzing off the first go, so I didn't put anything for the second. <laughs> okay, sure. And uh, That's Jack? fair. That's fair. Yeah, I got nothing for the second one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, it was um, the song was Another Way to Die, and it was from Quantum of Solace. Uh, but when you listen to it, like, isolated, just like that, it doesn't really get you in the mood to watch, like, two hours of a middle-aged white guy shooting people, does it? Um, and track three was uh, Bilal. Uh, Jai Ho by... Is it Pussycat Dolls, I think? doesn't matter who it's doesn't by, ma- does it? Ma- doesn't, doesn't matter. Ma- oh, my God. doesn't matter who it's by. No one gives a, no one gives a fucking fuck who it's by. OK, what's the film? What's the film? It's Slumdog it's Millionaire? Film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slumdog Millionaire. Cool. And the Pussycat Dolls. <laughs> Imagine the recording studio was chaos. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Uh, Annie. I put Jai Ho. Great. And Jack? I, put, I got this one. I got Jai Ho, Slumdog Millionaire, and I guess what? that was from 2008. 2008. Okay, yeah, cool. So you've got three points there, Jack. Um <laughs> Well done, guys. Well done. Yeah, yeah. You're doing a really good job. Uh, well, let's go over to those scores and uh, Huge Davies with the scores. Seven points for Valal. Yay, well done. And, uh, and then it's Annie got four. Four for that round or four in total? Uh, both. Right, okay. Yeah, that's the point. That's why we're doing this. That's easy, right. Okay, yeah, and cool. then Jack got three. Jack got three. Yay, good. Right. There's still everything to play for. Round three is called, what's in the box? What's in the box? Office. Uh, that's my Brad Pitt impression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, it's, a, it's a verbal impression. Um, this week, round three, it's all about the box office. Uh, we'll give our contestants a famous name, and they will try to give us a movie that was in their top ten highest grossing films at the worldwide box office. When you hear this noise... BBK, motherfucker. It, it means you've got a right answer. Right? A correct answer. Um, If it's in the top five, that's worth two points. Or if it's in uh, the six to ten uh, bit in the top ten, it's just one point. (laughs) (laughs) How is this more complicated than true or false? (laughs) It's literally just naming what's in the... uh, The scores are up to us, right? You've just (laughs) got to name what's in the top ten uh, of the box office when I tell you who we're doing okay. and then uh, one to five if it's in the one to five place in the box office you get two points if it's in six to ten you get one point if you name the wrong answer or you repeat one we've already had uh, or you just took too long to think of one and we're very harsh on uh, time wasting here uh, you'll hear this noise I didn't want this <laughs> what? I didn't want this I didn't want this <laughs> Of course. There we go. Of course, of course, yes. So, mate, just before we... Just how hard you can hit is how hard you get hit and keep moving forward. <laughs> I can change and you can change. Hey, this week... Um, I, well, just quickly... I'm, a, I'm available for children's <laughs> birthday parties. <laughs> Each contestant can have three of those before they're eliminated, so you get three wrong answers and then you're eliminated. Uh, uh, by the way, we will be losing the contestant with the fewest points at the end of this round, Jack, so no pressure. Um, uh, this week, we're trying to pick the top ten highest grossing films directed by Steven Spielberg. Yeah, we've all heard of Steven Spielberg, haven't we? He's the one name that comes up when anyone says, name a director. Right, so it's nice and easy for you guys. We're only looking for films he directed as of July 2022. Not films that he directed in July 2022. <laughs> Top 10 films of his entire career up to July 2022. Right? Okay, so whoever is in last place goes first. Um, Annie, name a Steven Spielberg film that is in his top 10. E.T. Uh, that's at number two. She gets two points there. Hey, motherfucker. Okay, great. Okay, Jack, name a, name a Steven Spielberg film from his top ten. Jurassic Park? Yeah, number one. Two points. Two points. Hey, motherfucker. Uh, Bilal, name a, name a Steven Spielberg film from his top ten. From his top ten. Jurassic Park 2? The Lost World Jurassic Park 2. That is number four. That is two points. That's two points. 
I didn't want. Oh, sorry. I, 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 was, I did the wrong one. Sorry. Okay, motherfucker. My mouse was hovering over the wrong answer because Belal looked so confused that I was like, he couldn't possibly. <laughs> you, don't see that. you don't need to ever explain yourself in front of me. Um, Annie, um, name, name one of Steven Spielberg's films from the top ten, from his top ten. Planet of the Apes. Wow. Um, <laughs> I, mean, I didn't want this! Uh, okay, uh, Jack, uh, name Is one Is that of, right? No. Uh, did no, you, you hear, didn't. Did you hear the sound? Steven Spielberg like? did not direct not Planet of, of the Apes. It was the guy that directed West Side Story, wasn't it? It was... Uh, the, Spielberg, yeah. No, no, not that West Side Story. No, that, that would be Steven Spielberg. Um, okay, cool. Jack, name uh, just a Steven Spielberg film at this point. I can only think of Bridge of Spies. Which cannot be in his top ten. That's no, not in his top ten. It can't be, can it? Because he's done lots this. of films that are much more popular than I that. I can't think of any of them. Including the greatest film ever made and a huge franchise. Crank. Um, Crank? No. No. Okay, Bill Al, name, a, name, a, name any Steven Spielberg film. Jurassic Park 3. No, he didn't direct I Jurassic didn't Park 3. That was Joe Johnson. I nearly said that. Yeah, so fuck I'm off. Ernie, name a, just name a Steven Spielberg well, film. Well, I thought I was doing that last time. No, you didn't. You didn't. That's, you know, um, you've done half the battle. How you've about answered. Just... Uh, The Godfather? Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, you've had two... Oh, I'm the one. You, you're not pressing your button. Sorry, yeah. You've no. had two incorrect well, you are, answers. We, we, you've got, we want to find out that's wrong, do we? You've got one. I don't want this! Oh, it's wrong, Annie. <laughs> Steven Spielberg didn't direct The Godfather. Well, I haven't seen it. How the Godfather know? came out four, four, four years before his big one. Um, Schindler's List. You're giving so many clues. I know I am. To you to as well. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're part of the thing, Annie. I'm just uh, the clues are coming out for everyone. No, Schindler's List is not in his top ten. What? No, he did direct it though, so you don't. You people get a bonus should be point. ashamed. We'll um, Bill out. We'll, we'll give you a bonus point for that, Jack, because I know you put a lot of effort into that. Um, Bill out. Uh, I'm stuck. Uh, you got nothing to lose. Okay. Do, uh, Hugo. Did you do that was Martin Scorsese. That was Martin oh, Scorsese. Yeah. Um, have you seen it? At least it? I've had two have you seen, films. You, you haven't seen Hugo? Okay. It's a I'm movie sorry. about the love of movies. <laughs> of course you haven't seen it. Right. <laughs> Annie, uh, name a... Oh, no. Seriously? Yeah, but this is your last life, so just say anything. Um, c- can I phone a friend? No, just say any film that comes into your head. Give me a clue. Can you act out my mill or something? Uh, no. <laughs> Was that the clue? It was almost a clue. Titanic. And, and then I thought, yeah, t- yeah, that's right. Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg famously I you directed were singing, Titanic, My Heart will didn't go he? On. Uh, you, you, you had a chance, Annie, and you blew it, right? Okay, so uh, Jack. A bit like Titanic. Can I just say, I have actually named two films that he did direct. Yeah, not in his top ten though, and that's oh, the right. fucking point of the fucking Indiana round. Indiana Jones. Yes. Which one? The Which most popular one? Which one did he direct that is in the top ten? Fucking out so many just name, you, just name. Just name. Uh, that's number ten. He gets one point. <laughs> Bill Al, I think the rest of this round is going to go very smoothly. The Indiana Jones um, Temple, Temple of Doom. Uh, do you know what? That's the only one that didn't make it into the top ten. <laughs> Uh, he gets no points. Bilal's okay. out. Bilal's out. Uh, Bilal's out with three beds. Yeah, three strikes. Oh, so yeah. it's just Jack. Because it's Jack. Doing the... uh, okay, right. How so was just... Jack one? That's uh, mad. I don't know. <laughs> uh, honestly, I'm surprised he even got on stage. It looks like he's, he's, he's done. He's done amazing here. Just name some Stephen Spielberg films for me. The, the uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Yeah, he gets one point for that. That was number no, eight. Two, two points. One point. One point for that. Wait, wait, how? Wait. We. I've been giving everyone two points and now it's one Yeah, because it's in the top five and then in the top six to ten, it's yeah. one point. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it's sure. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade is one point. It was number eight. Yeah, Jack, yeah. name another one. Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. That's number three. That's his third most successful film. Are you kidding? It's two points. And Schindler's List isn't in there. Schindler's List isn't in there. I'm shooketh. Yeah. Hook. Hook. No. No? Don't, don't say his name any more times. Is that how it happens? That's Candyman. Actually, no, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, go on. Oh, it doesn't matter. You could have had War of the Worlds, Ready Player One, Saving Private Ryan, and Jaws! Oh, Jaws, you were doing the da da da. I almost did it, but then I thought we can't clear the sound effect for that. Oh, who, who got the least amount of points? Well, Six start. points for Annie. Oh. Six points for Annie, that's not yeah. bad. Uh, and then in a crazy turn of events. Bilal and Jack are tied with 13 points. Oh! 
But unlucky for Annie, uh, you're out of the game now. Uh, but please uh, sit there and remain silent. I would just, I say I will apologise for the for the tail end of that. I forgot to do the music uh, cues. That's okay. We, we 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 get it. I mean, it's impossible to work under these conditions. <laughs> Round four, everyone, is called Gone in 60 Seconds. <laughs> Our remaining contestants, uh, Bilal and Jack, are about to battle it out in a final quick-fire quiz. It's not. <laughs> Covering all eras, all genres, all sorts, really. Each of you will have 60 seconds to score as many points as you can by answering quick-fire movie questions. Right, you ready with the timer? Yeah, I'm, I'm yep. yeah, ready. Right, so we're going to start with you. Both got 13 points. So, which one of you wants to go first, do you think, guys? Hello. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. Are you right going first? Yeah, Hello? sure. Brilliant. Okay, cool. So, you've got 60 seconds to answer um, what are these? Oh, are we not talking over each other? It's just. No, me. it's just you oh, okay. for 60 seconds, and then it'll be Jack for 60 Actually, seconds. Actually, would you prefer to talk over, Jack? Sure. Well, we. we, we <laughs> let's, just, let's just cut it down to white. It was one minute each. Yeah, yeah? cool. Yeah. All right, you, got your, you got your timer out? We could try, I mean, we never tried it at the same time. It could, it well, could we did be. Two been... minutes of everyone yelling over each yeah, other. Yeah, 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 we're yeah. Not, we're no, not, no, one minute. It would be one minute oh, of people minute yelling over each yelling other. Over but I, when people yell over each other, it's awful to listen to, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Phil Al, are you ready with that? I am ready, yeah. yeah I was right. ready one minute ago and I'm okay, ready now. Okay, so you can count me in three, two, one, and then we go. Okay. Bilal, three, two, one. Who plays Donnie Darko in Donnie Darko? Oh, um, Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, which outer space survival thriller stars Sandra Bullock and George Clooney? Oh, I, I, oh, um, oh, pass. Can't remember. In 1933, oh, hang on, I need to get that. I can't go back, can I? I know it. In 1933, film of the same name. Which movie wants to lives on Skull Island? Um, King Kong. These go up to eleven. Is a quote from which music comedy? Um, oh God. Oh, uh, Spinal Tap. Uh, what's the full title, mate? I'm going to have oh, to take the full title um, off you. We are, what is it? <laughs> who's, who's Moving Castle was the subject of the 2005 Studio Ghibli animation? Oh, pass. Which action comedy takes place in the English village of Sanford? Oh, I pass. I don't know. Which western was headlined by Yul Brynner in 1960 and Denzel Washington in the 2016 remake? Oh, the... The good, the bad, and the ugly. In what year did Terminator 2, Beauty and the Beast, and Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves top the global box office chart? Uh, 98. Complete the title of the 2004 sci-fi romance Eternal Sunshine of the... Spotless Mind. Shrek, spirited away and finding Nemo were the first three winners in Sorry, which... Sorry, you actually gone over. Oh, I, do, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> that was, that was uh, ten seconds over. Uh, you got Jake Gyllenhaal, right? The answer was Gravity... Uh, this is Spinal Tap, but you get Spinal Tap. Uh, it was Howl's Moving Castle. It was, uh, what was set in Sanford? Hot Fuzz. Uh, which Western was headlined by Yul Brynner and Denzel Washington in the remake? Magnificent Seven. Magnificent Seven. Uh, what year did Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, uh, Beauty and the Beast and Terminator 2 come out? 91. 91. Oh, yeah. Complete the title of the 2004. Oh, you got that. Um, that's it, really. Um, four, four points to Balawa. Okay, right. Uh, Jack, are you ready? Yeah. You've got, you got a bit four or more, so... Four I'm more. nervous. <laughs> if he gets four, then we're going to have to go to the final elimination round where we're all going to follow you outside into the street and you take your tops off and then you just pound each other until... <laughs> until okay. one of you dies. So I want to make sure I get four. <laughs> make sure you get four, mate. Okay. It's the final round we call Fight Club. Uh, the first rule of Fight Club is, don't tell anyone. Um, <laughs> is that the first question? No. Um, you ready, Huge? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, good. Right. Two, three, two, one. In which family comedy does Jack Black play a fake substitute teacher called Dewey Finn? School of Rock. Which year of World War I is also the title of the biggest UK box office hit of 2020? 1917. In the seven-year itch, which movie star famously stands over... Marilyn Monroe. Point? Okay, the 1971 film Get Carter is set in which city in the northeast New of England? Newcastle. I wish I knew how to quit you is a famous quote from which Western romance? Brobat Mountain. In the 1995 film Babe, what kind of animal is Babe? Pig. Clarence and Alabama Worley are the main characters in which cr crime movie? Say again? Clarence and Alabama Worley are the main characters in which crime film? Pass. 
In which months... You got that wrong. In which months of the year does the film Independence Day take place? July. In, in 2014, comedy of the same name, which hotel employs the characters Gustav H and Zero? Uh, what, Hotel Transylvania? Oh, no. In uh -huh. what year did Mission Impossible 2, Gladiator and Castaway top the global box office chart? 2001? Sorry, that's the, that's the end of the time. It was, <laughs> it was, it was, it was 2000. Okay, we'll go Oof. over your wrong answers. Um, it was, yeah, 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 you got that, you got that, you got that, you got that. Uh, Brokeback Mountain, yeah, it was a pig. Uh, it was uh, Clarence and Alabama are from which film? True Romance, yeah, it was uh, True Romance. Um, it was July. Uh, uh, the characters Gustav H and Zero were from which film? Grand Prix Best Hotel. In which um, year did Mission Impossible 2, Gladiator and Castor? I just told you it was 2000. So you got, I didn't count. It was seven. You got seven. That's crazy. <laughs> You've won it. Uh, so you got seven points, which means that Jack Barry uh, with, uh, do you want to run down the scores? How dare you start your sentence and then make me finish it like that? <laughs> it's, it's, uh, Jack is on 20 points and Balal is on 17 points. And, right, great. Uh, but there are no uh, losers uh, on, on this game. You get a copy of the straight-to-DVD movie The Joker and uh, just at random, uh, Annie, you get Charlie's Angels Full Throttle. Uh, there you go. So let's hear it for, hear it for, hear it for them. Uh, that's all from us this Do week. I get a prize? You don't get a prize, Jack. Oh, okay. You get the prize of, uh, of, of uh, when this comes out as a podcast, uh, sharing it around all of your followers and oh. saying, I'm not going to give the ending away, but uh, <laughs> listen to me win. Um, I'm going to get so laid. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can sense the sarcasm. No, it's being serious. serious. What a rude way of ending... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for joining us. This week you saw Bill Alzafar, Annie McGrath, and our champion today, Jack Barry. Keeping the scores with Hughes Davies. And last but not least, keeping all things together and flowing nicely was your master of ceremonies, Nick Howell. <laughs> You've been listening to the Film Quiz podcast hosted by me, Nick Helm. Today's contestants were Jack Barry, Bilal Zafar and Annie McGrath. The show was recorded, edited and mastered by Louis Fitton. Assistant producer was Teddy Coward. Question writer was Mark Harrison. Guest booker was Emma Turner. Thanks to Steve, Stuart and Jake, our camera people. Our exec producer is Simon Brew. And our producer is Howard Cohen. The Film Quiz podcast is a Why Now and Film Stories production. Hosted by me, Nick Helm. <laughs>